Hey guys, Tech Guy Charlie here and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna take apart this brand new external storage from WD and repurpose the 8TB hard drive inside this and use it as an internal hard drive in our desktop PC. And these 8TB MyBooks have a pretty fast 7200RPM drive which should make for a great high performance desktop drive and not to mention it's a CMR drive which is awesome. So I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of how it's done. All right, so let's begin. Now, because we are doing this to a brand new drive, there are a couple of extra steps that you wanna do before you take it out of its casing. But if you're already using one that is tried and tested, then skip to the disassembly process. Okay, so first, on your PC, you want to go to this website and download and install the WD Drive Utilities. I've already got it installed, so going to launch this. And now we are going to plug in the MyBook into our PC. So these desktop drives are actually quite cumbersome. It has its own power supply, which doesn't really make it portable. Okay, so once you have the drive connected, it should show up on the PC. And here it is. Now the next thing you want to do is run a complete drive test in the WD Drive Utility software. This will scan the entire drive for any bad sectors and it is necessary that you do this to a brand new hard drive. Just in case if there are any defects or any bad sectors, they are gonna show up here. And the reason why we are doing this right now is because taking the drive out of its casing will most likely void its warranty. So just in case, if any defects pop up, you can easily return or RMA the drive before taking it apart. And this is gonna take a couple of hours as this is a large capacity drive. So just let the test run. And lastly, if you are actually using the drive, make sure all of the password protection and encryption features are turned off before you take it out of its casing. Because once the drive is inside your PC, it will function as a normal internal hard drive. So the password protection and encryption features will not work. So you will have to make sure that they are first turned off in the WD software. And once the drive passes the test, we can now safely disconnect the drive and start with the disassembly procedure. Now you will need two things to properly disassemble the WD MyBook drive. So get yourself at least four guitar picks and a screwdriver with a Phillips head and a hex 2.0 bit. A multi-bit screwdriver should have all of these. Okay, so once you have all of these ready, let's start disassembling. So flip the enclosure upside down. Now grab a guitar pick and wedge it around the corners. You know what, let me just zoom in so that you can get a better view. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, grab a guitar pick and wedge it around the vents until you hear a click. That is the sound of the clips popping out. I am actually doing this the second time because the first time I forgot to press the record button. That is why you can see some marks in the plastic right here. Anyways, there are four clips holding the enclosure in place, so you will have to do this with all four guitar picks. So once you have all four picks in place, gently push the drive out and it should come out of its enclosure. There you go. So this is the 8TB drive that comes with the MyBook enclosure. It's a WD80 EDBZ and it's a 7200 RPM drive, so pretty fast. Anyways, for vibration dampening, the drive is mounted on rubber grommets and there are four hex screws holding the drive in its place. So grab the hex 2.0 bit and unscrew these four hex screws. Once all four screws are loose, flip the drive over and gently push it out of its internal enclosure. And there you go. Now you can see there is a PCB attached to the drive and there is a Phillips head screw holding it in place. So grab the Phillips head bit and remove the screw. And then remove the PCB. As you can see, it is a standard SATA hard drive that we can use inside our desktop PC. And keep in mind, you cannot do this with every drive in the market because some of them have proprietary connectors that are soldered onto the drive. An example of this is the WD My Passport drive. 
So you can see the connector is physically soldered onto the drive. So it would be impossible to use this as an internal hard drive. So there are very specific external drives that you can shock. Now all you have to do is install the drive in your PC. And I've got one empty 3.5 inch hard drive slot so I will install it over here. So we will insert the drive, connect the SATA and the power cable and we are pretty much good to go. Ok so let's power the PC on then go into the BIOS and see if the motherboard even detects the new drive. And it does. You can see the new drive is showing up in the BIOS right here. It's plugged in into the third SATA port. So this means you don't need that nasty 3.3 volt mod with this specific power supply which is the Corsair RM1000X. You see the thing is with some power supplies these shucked WD white label drives will not work in a desktop PC. So if you have this issue then you will need to cover the third pin from the left with Kapton tape to cut the 3.3 volt signal to the hard drive. This website shows you how to do it so I will put its link in the video's description. But thankfully with this power supply I did not face any issues. So let's boot into windows and test the drive out. Alright so here it is, a brand new MT 8 terabyte external drive repurposed as an internal. It still shows up as my book so you will have to rename it to something else. We will do that later. One more thing you will notice is that the WD software will not detect the drive anymore. This is because it's no longer a USB device. And this is completely normal, nothing to worry about. So now let's move on to the benchmarks. First off I ran crystal disk mark and here are the results. Gotta say I am quite pleased as how the drive performs. It is certainly faster than the 6TB version of the WD MyBook which is a 5400 RPM drive. And if you are wondering here is the test result of the 6TB MyBook which is also a shucked drive inside the PC. As you can see the 8TB version is far superior in every way possible. Now one interesting observation is that this drive performs slightly better if it is plugged in into the SATA port of the motherboard versus when it is inside the enclosure. And this was attached into a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. And here is a side by side comparison between the two. It's not a huge difference. It is certainly within the margin of error but yeah kinda interesting. I also copied over some large video files to test out the raw file transfer speed and got a sustained write speed of about 170 to 180 megabytes per second. And just so you know we are copying from an SSD onto the 8TB drive so the bottleneck should be the 8TB drive itself. Then I also copied over about 3400 photos to see how the drive keeps up and got a similar write speed of about 170 to 180 megabytes per second which is pretty decent. And copying files from the 8TB drive onto an SSD gives us a sustained read speed of about 200 plus megabytes per second which is awesome. And here is a screenshot of Crystal Disk Mark. Now what I've noticed is that this drive runs a little hot at about 43 degrees Celsius when the PC is idle. Compare this to the 5400 RPM drive which is running much cooler at 36 degrees. This is almost after 6 hours of the PC just sitting and idling away. Now after copying almost 450 gigabyte worth of files the temperature was at about 47 degrees celsius. Meanwhile the 5400 rpm drive ran much cooler at 40 degrees celsius. And this is also a shucked drive from a 6 terabyte mybook enclosure. Now keep in mind 47 degrees celsius is completely normal for a drive that has seen recent activity. As long as it stays below 50 we should be okay. Now I know someone is going to ask can you use other hard drives in the WD MyBook enclosure. Well unfortunately the answer is no. I actually tried it with another WD drive, a WD Blue to be exact. The drive actually spins and the computer is able to detect that there is a USB drive plugged in but it does not show up in this PC and the device manager was asking me to initialize the drive which I did and it failed. So it seems as if the USB controller on the board is paired with the drive the enclosure originally ships with. 
So no, you cannot use any other drive with this enclosure. Also, I have not noticed any difference in the noise levels. The PC is super quiet and right now we are transferring files over to the new hard drive. And there is absolutely no noise. Uh, by the way, I am using these foam pads to dampen the humming noise coming from the PC and going into the microphone. And yes, this does help out a lot. But overall, the PC is extremely quiet. So that brings us to the end of the video. Now, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try and answer them. And if you found the video to be helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.